Welcome back to Right Now Powder Coating. Today we're gonna to be diving into a topic that can make or break your powder coating projects. We're gonna be talking about phosphate treatments. If you want a finish that's smooth, durable, and corrosion resistant, stick around and learn why phosphate is a secret weapon to your powder coating setup. Keep in mind that this channel is ran by me, a do-it-yourself business-owning powder coating place, and that to get the most up-to-date and best information, it's best to talk with your actual chemical company. We like to use Lincoln Chemical. This is not a sponsored video, but that's who we use here. And we have had great success with them. But find someone in your area to talk with about what we're sharing with you. Let's get into it. So what is a phosphate treatment? Simply put, it's a pre-treatment process where metal parts are chemically cleaned and coated with a thin film of phosphate. Think of it as a really nice solid base layer for your powder to go on top of. Now this layer not only improves adhesion, but it also enhances the metal's corrosion resistance, making your finish tougher and longer lasting. Now whether you're working on wheels, furniture or industrial parts, phosphate is a great foundation for success. Basically put, skipping phosphate might save you time, but it'll cost you in the long run. Without it, your powder could chip, peel, or rust faster than you might think. Phosphate treatment chemically bonds with the metal, creating a surface that grabs onto the powder with a chemical edge and holds it tight. Plus, it protects against moisture and corrosion in very harsh environments. Basically, phosphate is the difference between a finish that lasts for weeks and months to a finish that lasts for years and decades. So to start with, you're gonna clean the metal. We wanna get rid of any grease, oil, or dirt. They've gotta go. Use a degreaser or stay on the surface for best results. If you need a degreaser, you can talk to your chemical rep. Next, you're gonna spray the part with the phosphate solution. This is where the magic happens. The solution reacts with the metal and creates a chemical etch forming a thin layer of phosphate that will protect the metal. Afterwards, you're gonna rinse apart thoroughly. You wanna make sure that you remove any of the phosphate residual that might be left behind. Finally, you wanna make sure the part gets dried. We like to blow off the excessive water and then we like to put it into our oven and make sure it's fully dry before coating. When you pull it out, you should have a nice, clean, dull surface and it's ready to go. And there you have it, it's that simple. The metal is phosphated and prepped and ready for you to apply your powder. So why go the extra mile with a phosphate or a pre-treatment? Let's break it down. Reason number one, you're gonna get a stronger adhesion. Your powder will stick better to the part with that chemical etch and it will prevent chips and peeling. Number two, you're gonna get an extra layer of corrosion protection. That thin layer shields your metal from rust and moisture. Number three, durability. Treated parts can withstand wear and tear and weather for much longer and much better. Number four, it's a professional thing to do and it's gonna make your project last a lot longer. Now, I know you've got questions, but luckily for you, I've got the answers. Question number one, do I need to phosphate for every project? Not necessarily. If you're powder coating items for indoor use with minimal wear and tear, you might be able to skip it. But if the product's gonna be outdoors, it's a must. Question number two, what does phosphate cost? Really, that's gonna depend on your chemical supplier and how much you dilute the solution. It really shouldn't cost you more than pennies per job and it's going to add so much more durability and life to your project. For small operations, it's actually really affordable and you can buy in small quantities and it's definitely worth the investment. Feel free to reference the 14 and six second mark of our how much money does it take to start powder coating video for more in-depth phosphate costs and options. Remember, with phosphate, a little goes a long way. Here are some pro tips for using phosphate. Number one, make sure that you clean the part thoroughly. You don't want any dirt, oil, or anything else left behind on the part. Number two, follow the instructions. Refer to your chemical supplier's application guidelines and reference with your supplier if you have any questions on the concentration and temperature that the chemical should be applied at and the duration. Three, make sure that you rinse really well. You must remove all of the phosphate off the part before going on to dry. Lastly, make sure the part's dry. You can't powder coat over water, so make sure you fully get that part dry and make sure you pay attention to any tubes around cylinders that all the water has come out or evaporated out. 
Take your time with the process. It will be worth the end result for that flawless finish. Phosphating might seem like it's a small step, but trust me, it's the foundation of every professional powder coating job. If you want your work to stand out and last, don't skip this step. If you have more questions about phosphating or powder coating, make sure to drop them down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you know every time that we post a new video. Thank you for watching and get out there and coat.